We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Fort Worth, Texas, and we get to visit with the brand new head coach for the Texas Wesleyan Rams, Coach Brad Sherrod, who obviously is coming into his first season with the program. And Coach, your announcement, this is just days old. So congratulations. Let's start right there. Congratulations on the opportunity. Well, thank you. I'm excited about the chance to be a head coach, and I appreciate Ricky Dotson and and Dr. Messer for giving me the opportunity to be the head coach here. You know, I talk about previewing the 2024 schedule, and as we'll talk just a little bit, I know that there's not a lot of previewing necessarily we can do with the Rams right now because uh, you're just now being installed and and getting to work your way around the campus and the program and the system. Mm -hmm. But a little bit about you then. Uh, You had a number of stops along the way, played at Duke, coached at Duke for a while, but most recently at uh, UTSA, spent the last three years there. You've been there. You've had some time at Sam Houston State as well. And, and with those two schools in particular, you've been around the state of Texas for a while. What do you know about the Texas Wesleyan program or what have you learned since you've been there? Well, I learned a lot. I know it, it was, you know, um, uh, suspended for, I say suspended for at least seven decade, decade, decades. And uh, it was just reinstated back in 2016. So I'm still fairly new with the foundation laid by Joe. Joe did a great job laying the foundation for the program and and really put some good uh, things in place for us here. Um, and we p- plan to continue that. But um, it's an exciting time to be here. We got a lot of new things going on. Uh, uh, not so much with, with the, the facilities, with the schools growing, things of that nature. So it's a really exciting time to be here at Texas Wesleyan. Another question then, uh, as uh, I'm sure, you know, getting to know not only the facilities and, and what you uh, are, are going to get to work with, but who you get to work with as well. Recruiting probably pretty much in the rearview mirror, at least the, the main facet of recruiting mm-hmm. back in February and, and those things. You'll still have an opportunity to bring in people over the course of the summer. Uh, what about the roster that's there? I mean, this is a, a program that's been fairly successful, as you mentioned of late. Well, we have a lot of exciting pieces that are returning. And, you know, our quarterback is, is coming back and our running back Caesar is coming back as well. So uh, we have some work to do on the offensive line, but I believe we'll we'll short that over the summer and uh, make that. I think the kids that are here now are doing a good job uh, what we want to do. So and defensively, we got a lot of kids coming back. So we're excited. I haven't had a chance to meet all of them, uh, but they all be back on the ninth. So we're looking forward to that, having them back on the ninth and working with them. So, but I'm excited about this group. I've talked to a number of them on the phone. I have not met them in person. I met some during the interview process, but uh, I'm excited about what they bring to the table because they're a talented group and uh, we want to build off what they have here now. And and uh, we got some good pieces in place. We're visiting on the summit now here on Midwest Sports Net with Coach Brad Sherrod, the new head football coach for Texas Wesleyan. Uh, coach, we were down last year there at uh, Crowley ISD, actually had an opportunity to do a live broadcast down there. What a great facility it is. I know you'll have an opportunity to get to see that too. But new facility in the works on campus, and that's something for the future. So you get to uh, recruit, I guess, not only some players for the future, but mm-hmm. maybe get to be a part of helping recruit some donors to the program. Yeah, that's like it's an exciting time. Like I said, we are in the process of of uh, completing, and, and it hasn't started yet, but we're going to open to have a groundbreaking for our new football operations center here uh, shortly. And um, our new on-campus stadium as well. You know, we have the field and now. We want to add stands to it. So it's a great opportunity to get football back on campus and have our our students be able to go to the games right here on campus and the community. So it, it'll benefit not just football and athletics. It's going to benefit our community here in uh, where we are, also our campus community and the local community as well. So it's going to be another gathering place for for people to come and gather and do some things as a community. So we're excited about having it on campus. I'm looking through your resume and, and there are so many, you know, nice stops along the way, but uh, you've, you've had the opportunity to really head up many facets of the game. Linebackers, I've been a defensive coordinator, co-defensive coordinator as well. I mean, really both sides of the ball. Talk about what it means to have all of those things that have been sewn into you and then you've been able to not only get to receive the opportunity to work with places and be successful in those places to prepare you to be the head coach. Well, you learn a lot from every from every head coach you work work with, and um, it's important that you take those as learning experiences. And I've taken a lot of things that I like and I want to do for my program. If I ever got the opportunity, which I do now, uh, to lead my program, uh, being able to coach on both sides of the ball has really helped me uh, just you know 
understand the game more, understand the game better, and uh, really helped me in my career as I went through. And uh, being in the state of Texas, you know, I've had a lot of success here at Sam Houston and UTSA. So the state of Texas has been really good to me winning ball games. Um, but I had, a, I had an opportunity to work for some really good uh, head coaches that I've learned a lot from that's been very successful uh, on the collegiate level. And uh, I've taken a lot of the things they've done that have been successful. And I'm, I'm going to put in this program and try to integrate into this program as well. So I'm excited about uh, just being here, I think the Fort Worth area is great. Uh, I, I, there's a lot of talent here. There's a lot of support here from from our local community, from our alums, and um, I'm just looking forward to, to meeting all of them. I met a few, and um, there's some more things on the docket that I, I'm I'm planning to do to to meet more. So, but they've been great. They've been supportive, and and I I look I look forward to getting them out to the game and even spend more time with them after the game and uh, getting to know them. Yeah, Coach. I'm, I mean, no matter what your recruiting budget is, uh, you you. You put miles on the car, but you don't yeah. ever get outside Tarrant County to get, to be able to recruit well and and bring bring kids to the program. Well, I I would love to get to hear more about uh, how it's starting to come together, and hopefully we'll get a chance to visit again before the season starts. But with that in mind, uh, you 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 know summer is is here. We're already in the month of June. Your first game is less than three months away, and the schedule makers made it uh, interesting for you right off the bat. A Thursday night game against Lindsey Wilson. Nice yeah. conference matchup to, to get your feet wet. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a great opportunity for our guys. And, uh, you know, like they've had, we've had success here the last two years. And uh, this is just another uh, a game really to test where we are and where we want to be as a program. We want to play on that national level. So having a team like Lindsey Wilson come in here on a Thursday night, uh, we're excited about it. Our kids are excited about it. And then, like I said, it's a great opportunity for this program and it gets to show where we are. So I do have my work cut out for me as my staff does, but uh, I think we're I think we're on the right track. We got the players in place. We just got we're gonna make sure that we're doing the right things and doing the right things to win a ball game and focus on those things. So we have them here for six weeks this summer and uh, we're gonna have a great chance to, to practice the, the fundamentals of winning football games. And that's what we're gonna be focused on this summer. Getting bigger in the, the weight room, uh, getting in great shape. Uh, so when we hit in August, when it comes to preseason camp, we're hitting the ground running. So, so that's what we're looking forward to. All right, Coach. Well, I, I I know with your time there, you are well aware of what Texas heat really is and what it really means. So <laughs> uh, with the, mm -hmm. all of the, the players coming in, you'll they'll get to experience that as well. Coach Brad Sherrod, the new head coach for the Texas Wesleyan Rams. We have been following the Rams. We'll continue to follow the Rams, Coach, and success to you this season. Thank you very much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Thank you, Joey. Appreciate it.